Hey, welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to talk a little bit about acid-base conjugate pairs. And the reason why I threw this list on the board here is two reasons. First of all, to give you a feel of what that is, and secondly, there's some interesting cases here I want to bring your attention to. So, for example, everybody probably already knows that HCl is hydrochloric acid, and when you put hydrochloric acid in an aqueous solution, it separates the hydrogen from the chlorine ion. The hydrogen ions, they will then combine with water to form hydronium ions, and then the chlorine ion will then be free to flow throughout the, um, uh, the uh, aqueous solution and probably pair up, at least electrically, with anything that is uh, positive in nature. But now, notice that chlorine, uh, the chlorine ion is called the chloride ion, that's a better, better name for it, and it is considered what we call the conjugate base. It's the resulting base of the acid hydrochloric acid. For example, this has a tendency of try to combine with hydrogen ions. So if the opportunity ar arises, it will grab hydrogen ions out of solution, form hydrochloric acid, so therefore that's considered a base. Now, this tends to be a weaker base, so that's not going to happen in the presence of hydronium uh, ions, but nevertheless, it is a base, so therefore it is what we call the conjugate base. It's a base that relates to the hydrochloric acid uh, HCl. Uh, same with nitric acid. When nitric acid put in aqueous solution, the hydrogen ion will dissociate from the nitrate ion. The nitrate ion then becomes the associated base to the acid nitric acid. And again, if given the opportunity, the, nit the nitrate ion will try to grab a hydrogen ion and turn itself back into nitric acid. Of course, the tendency is from left to right, not necessarily from right to left. You have to have a strong base to drive it the other way around. Here we have hydrocyanic acid. Again, it will dissociate into hydrogen ions, which will combine with water to form hydronium ions, and the, what we call the cyanide ion, and that's therefore called the conjugate base. Here we have perchloric acid. It's a very strong acid. And again, hydrogen will separate. What's remaining is the perchlorate ion, and that's therefore what we call the conjugate base. And here we have an interesting example. Here we have sulfuric acid, H2SO4 and it will dissociate, one of the hydrogens will leave the, the uh, molecule and that hydrogen of course will, uh, will form with a hydronium ion with the combination of water molecule but the remainder, the hydrogen sulfate ion is therefore what we call the conjugate base again, if given the opportunity, it will grab a hydrogen ion turn itself back into sulfuric acid but what also is interesting is that hydrogen sulfate ion in itself could also dissociate with the second hydrogen and because of that, it also forms an acid. So the, what we call the conjugate base of sulfuric acid in itself is an acid as well. Not as strong an acid as sulfuric acid, but nevertheless, it can dissociate the hydrogen ion and turn itself into a sulfate ion, and that will then becomes a conjugate base to the acid hydrogen sulfate ion, which in itself is a conjugate base of the sulfuric acid molecule. So that's interesting, and we'll show you some more examples of that later. That's actually a special case, and there's some others that fall into that case. For example, carbonic acid can shed one of its hydrogens and turn itself into what we call the bicarbonate ion, and that in itself is a base, but it can also act as an acid because it can shed the second hydrogen ion and turn itself into a carbonate ion, and so therefore this is the conjugate base of the bicarbonate ion, which is an acid in this case, but it can also be the conjugate base of the carbonic acid molecule. And finally, we have the ammonium ion, which is an acid because it can shed a hydrogen ion and turn itself back into ammonia. So ammonia is the conjugate base of the acid ammonium ion. So that's where the term comes from. So whenever an acid dissociates and donates a hydrogen, uh, hydrogen ion, what's left becomes the conjugate base of that acid. So it's, conjugate simply means that they exist in pairs, that one will turn into the other and therefore it's related. So conjugate is maybe a, another word for it would be a related, the related base to the acid. Not that, that there is any sort of relationship other than that one turns into the other, and that's why we call it conjugate, just a name to associate that. That's the base you get when your acid dissociates in an aqueous solution. That's it. That's how we talk about conjugate acid-base pairs. Acid-base pairs, not acid-base pairs. Acid-base pairs.